I am the lost one, weak and condemned. The one that God wants you to talk to, but you're scared you'd offend. And I am the outcast, rejected inside. Uh -huh. And as you go, or have you ever questions? Step back 10 feet or take it. No. Are you a Christian? I am a normal Christian. What does it say? What does it say? What does it say? This is normal Christianity. Too low. I know you look for a hypocrite so much. Too low. I know it's too hot for you lukewarm hypocrites. I get that. I understand this is way too hot for you hypocrites. But. Jesus Christ said, Be you holy as your Father in heaven is holy. I don't care what your Father you can do. So you can film you me. need to obey the Holy Ghost. You need to obey God's Word. Yep. Now, if your father and mother I'll teach you wrongly, they have greater right condemnation. I'm going to tell you what y'all need to do. You got a second to speak with me, sir? You don't? Did you get yeah. I want you to understand that he just refused Lexton Center to not talk with us. Do you have that on camera now? Good. So you refuse to talk with us. Who are you? I don't know who you are. Except you repent, you will all likewise perish. Who are you, sir? Officer Identify Zero. yourself. God is coming to judge all police officers. All judges, all cops. God is coming to judge. <laughs> you all are now, we're not in kindergarten here. You need to move off. This, this is private. Here. Why is it private? Part? I thought it was just no, public. No, this is Lexington Center. When you go up to the Ballards, you're on city property. And you can do this. Why are they here? But, because they have they're tickets. Going in? They're tickets? Yeah, they have this tickets. This is public property, sir. No, sir. This yes, is. sir is. <laughs> Rupp Arena belongs to the public. Hello? Public no. taxpayer money, both subsidized and paid for your, your, uh, your salary. Yes, that's right. We're going to move along. Is that what you would like? I'd like yes. you to move to city property. <laughs> this is city property. Okay. It sure is. Wait one second. Come on, children. Let's go. Yes. It's that river pack. You will all like my church. Excuse me, Sergeant. Excuse me. You're getting this, right? Excuse me. Public sidewalk. Come on, children. Listen, sir, you don't tell my children what to do. Well, you said, please, you have no, here. I'm you have here. no authority. <laughs> what authority do you have? Show me what authority you have. I'm from you. Repent or perish. Yeah, he's got a bad. Right here, officer. Look at him right here. Do you have these people stop harassing me, sir? I'm trying to tell you people the truth. I'm trying to tell you people the truth. Except you will pay your offer to parents. Lieutenant. This is going to happen. Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Guilty. I don't care if you protest. He's just not going to protest on our property. I'm not here protesting, sir. I'm here preaching. This is public sidewalk. If not, we'll arrest him and file the complaint. I've been through this in the city a bunch of times. I don't need that, but I need you to do it. Well, let me get your supervisor, please. I am the supervisor. Well, I need your supervisor. I don't have a supervisor. I've dealt I'm on public sidewalk right here, Lieutenant. I'm not leaving. You're not. Are you going to arrest me? You're on your Rupp Arena property. Are you? No, this is this is public property right here. This curve is public. It's not. It's What's not, your name, sir? Baroshek. David Barosh. Lieutenant Baroshek. This is not public property. This, pu this is private yeah, property. Excuse me. Don't talk to my. Can you have this guy stop talking to my children, please? No. Thank I, you. I'm the one going to so file the complaint. They can talk to. He can talk to your kids. Now, you're talking to everybody. Now, uh, we are here on public property. The easement's 12 feet off this curve. Do you have your ID? I, just, I sure do. Can I see it just so I can see if what I'm I talking to? Have I broken the law? No, Why do you need to see my ID? 
what's your name? My name's John McClone. Okay. Call the city. Call the city attorney. Find out about John McClone. John, you know as well as I that the attorney's Lieutenant, you know very well. You know very well. There's somebody that can answer the question. John, there's nobody. If you could give well, me a number, somebody call me. I'm happy to call. I've offered you a letter. I've given you the city. What are we protesting? We are preaching, sir. We're not protesting anything. What are we, well, what are we preaching today? About Jesus and Him crucified for the remission of sin. LT, we're good with all that. We what? totally support Him. We're one hundred percent. I'm interacting Listen, with you. You hush now. right now, partner. Excuse I'm me, talking don't yell to him. John, John, he's yes, sir. I'm going to give you both an opportunity. Let to Let me talk to, me. to the lieutenant. Can, can he let read my letter? Will you allow him to I, do that, please? I, I will let him look at it. But I'm talking to keep preaching. John, I'm talking to him. That's fine. Lieutenant, we're good. With, we support the group. We're with them 100%. God commands you to repent. Accept your turn from your sin. That offends the Holy God. Lord, the to be a man of the Lord. Lord, 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 do you not know your sin separates you from God? It sure does. Sin is a transgression of the law. The law of love is to warn the sinner to turn so that they might live. If you will not turn, you'll be responsible for your sin. Your sin will bring judgment before a holy God. Excuse me, I have a question. We're not going to the other side. You have a question? Go ahead. What is Jesus going to say on Judgment Day when you lie to millions of people? What are you what? This is a very old letter. This is when Newberry about ten years ago, right? This is why this is so this John, is so good. Listen to me, John. How they're explaining it stands the test of time, sir. John, let me explain something to you. How they're saying about your property. Change today. because this has changed. Are you going to let me talk, or we're just are you going to be able to interact at all? Absolutely. Okay, I've not let you talk. Good. I've let you state your case. No, you haven't. This is, actually, you haven't listened to anything I've said. I have. You you think you're on public property, but you're not. I am on public. Let property. me explain to you where public property is for rubber ring. It is anything on this side where the big building, you see how rough goes down, to right here is their property. It's not public. The sidewalk right there is public. And when you get past that building where the ticket offices are in the main, that's show, public, show but this paper. is not. That's what he says. Show me the paper. The, he, he runs this place. No, no. The government he runs this he runs, street. This street has public lights. Do you believe in private property or do you not believe in private property? I'm not trying to go into private property. This is private. Do you own a house? I'm not trying to go into private property. Do you own a house? It's a, it's a category error lieutenant. Do you, do you own a house? Category error lieutenant. No. This is not private. Actually, that's not private Fam, either, Let's lieutenant. do it. Do you live in Lexington? Lieutenant, you that is live besides the point. It's not you got my name. Home. I haven't John. broken the law. John, in about 10 are minutes, John, you're going to get arrested for criminal trespass. This so is what's you going are going to arrest me in 10 minutes. You, you, I'm going to confirm what they're saying. I'm going to make sure this is their property, like he's okay. telling me. And if you, you won't move, then it will come to them. No, I'll obey you. If you show me in the city have. records, John, you said in 10 on, minutes seriously. you're going to get a call back. Who are you getting a call I'm back not, from, Lieutenant? I'm not, did I ever say I was getting a call back, You John. just said, said in 10 minutes something's going to trigger my arrest. I'm just trying to find out what that is. I'm not arguing with you. No, wait a minute, I'm trying to find out. You're threatening me with arrest. I'm yeah. trying to find out why. Get a video John, of this. I confirm, John, that on this, this curve, property, then you, you have not. Jail. How are you going to confirm it? That's my question. Who are you? What authority are you talking to to confirm the sidewalk, sir? That's all I want to know. ALT, I'll file the complaint to the district court. I don't care. I'll file it. Well, you'll be part of the lawsuit, too. Get in line, brother. <laughs> well, I, I don't mind getting in line. I have no problem with that. For God requires holiness, people, holiness on the inward parts. He requires you to turn from your sin or be condemned in your sin. Turn from your sin or be condemned in it. I don't want you to be condemned. I don't want you to go to hell. But if you don't turn, you won't live. And every person out here that's trying to suppress the truth of God's word, Guess what's going to happen to them on Judgment Day? They're going to be condemned. And sir, if you keep listening to assaulting me, Sergeant, I'm going to have you arrested. <laughs> Lieutenant, can I get this Sergeant so-called off of me? Leave me alone, Sergeant. You're physically accosting me. God is coming to judge people. Except you repent, you will all likewise perish. Come on, children. Yes, Jesus loves.
loved you with a bloody love. Jesus loved you with a bloody love, which apparently most of you people don't care about. Most of you people don't care. They suffered for you and died for your sin. Down the road, baby. Died for your sin. You want to continue in your sin. This is the problem with lukewarm, lukewarm Christianity in America. Lukewarm people go to hell. Wake up. Awake to righteousness and do not sin, the Bible says. That's New Testament. Awake to righteousness and do not sin. Wake up, people. God's coming. The day of the Lord is coming. Cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate and to destroy the sinners thereof out of it. That would be Isaiah 13, 9. Repent. Give me some water. That's exciting. How many trash do you give out? Like two? What are they doing? They're calling the authorities to find out is this uh, Rupp Arena property. You got all that on recorded, right? And so the, we get the name of the guy that uh, first came up to you. What's his name? The old man? Does he have a name? But I'm, Dad, I think it's on video though. Because I had it on. Well, it's like one of those things we have to make sure we get. Okay, go ahead and stop the video for now. Just restart it. What if? Oh, so stop, it stop it and restart it. I want that clip. God is coming to judge. God is coming to judge righteously. God is coming to judge the world. Prepare yourselves for the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord is coming. Behold, the day of the Lord is coming. Cruel, both in wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate and to destroy the sinners thereof out of it. If you're a sinner, I just described you. If you're living in sin, I just described you. All you long hair boys need to get a haircut. All you long hair boys need to get a haircut. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 11, it's a shame for a man to have long hair. And a woman, her, her long hair is her glory. So all you short haired ladies need to grow your hair out and be a godly woman. Grow your hair out and be a godly woman. Why does that upset you? It's just the Bible. Who cares what I say? 1 Corinthians 11, who cares what I say? I gave you the Bible verse. It's a shame for a man to have long hair. Does not even nature teach you the difference? That's the issue. Nature does teach you the difference. You know, a male cardinal is bright red, and a female is brown for a reason. Because they're a difference in gender. But our culture and our lukewarm Christianity in America blurs the lines. There's the problem. There's the problem. God has laid down a standard for sin. Go find out what the lieutenant has to say. talk to but you're scared you to fin and I am the outcast rejected inside who I'm looking for answers but I'm blinded by pride to so come out and preach preach unto me and tell me the secret to eternity be bold and speak and reach 
reach out to me No, I can't save myself But I want to be free And there's something inside you I need Oh, there's something deep down inside you I need And I'm locked in a closet Dark and alone And I need you to love me But you cast the first stone I am the lost one We can condemn The one that God wants you to talk to But you're scared you to offend Why don't you come out and preach Preach unto me Tell me the secret to eternity Be bold and speak Reach out to me No, I can't save myself But I want to be free And there's something inside you I need Well, there's something deep down inside you I need Yes, there's something in your heart I know I need And I can see it in your eyes I know I need it To come out and preach Preach unto me Tell me the secret To eternity be bold and speak and reach out to me No, I can't save myself But I want to be free And there's something inside you I need Oh, there's something deep down inside you I need So come out and breathe